Hey guys, today we're back with another firearms review. And today on the channel, we're gonna be reviewing the standard manufacturing jackhammer 22 long rifle. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Once again, today we're going to be reviewing the standard manufacturing jackhammer in 22 long rifle. This is a 22 long rifle pistol. As you can see here, there's no stock on it. The barrel is approximately six inches, and this is an auto loaded direct blowback 22 long rifle pistol. So, talking about how this works a little bit, um, you have a red dot side on here. This is a Venom Vortex that I have put on here myself. You have your charging handle here. How you are going to load this, which we'll talk about right here in a second, is that you pull it back. You push up on the safety, you put keep uh, continuous pressure here on the lock, it will lock it into place. You make sure this is slid up. You take your 10 round magazine, or we do have uh, also uh, 50 round drums, we'll show you here in a second. You take and then you lock it into place. This locking mechanism here closes onto the back of the latch on the magazine and secures it in place. Then you drop it into place and now it is ready to lock. You can also put it into safe right here so you can carry it locked and cocked with one in the chamber but let's go ahead and take some shots with this all right guys so that was 10 round of the 10 round magazine using cci mini mags uh, so that is some really good uh, 22 long rifle that will shoot through this Let's go ahead and throw the 50 round drum into it and see what it does. All right, guys, this is the 50 round drum with 22 long rifle CCI mini mags from uh, CCI. Let's go ahead and throw it in here. What you do is load it up with the locking lugs here on the pistol. Once it gets locked into place, drop your throw lever here and then throw it in the battery so it is ready to roll. Let's see how reliable the 50 round drum is with the CCI 22 mini mags. we are empty so that is uh, 50 rounds of the uh, CCI mini mags loaded through the drum so as you can see here we are completely empty let's go ahead and load it up and see what type of accurate shots we can get All right guys so we have the 10 round magazine once again with the CCI mini mags All right we are ready to shoot So uh, just while we're sitting here on an empty mag, the quickest way that I have found to reload this is that you can either do a C-clamp with your hand, pull the charging handle back, push up with your left non-dominant thumb, which will lock it into place as you can see here, unclose this latch, push it out with your dominant hand. That's a really good way to reload it. And uh, just as you can see here, whenever you figure out how to reload it the best, it is uh, actually a pretty decently quick gun to reload. Like I said, just like this, throw this open, push it straight out, and you're ready to reload another magazine. Let's go ahead and put another round of the 50 round drum inside of it. This one here, I believe we've got about 25 rounds in it. Once again, slide it into place here, close your latching lever, throw it in the battery, and we're ready to roll. All right, guys, we've got 10 more rounds loaded up in the drum mag. Let's go ahead and take a few more shots. And that's 100% reliability once again with the CCI mini mag. So let's go ahead and get this thing safe to talk about. As you can see, round is not in the chamber or anything like that. Let's go ahead and put it up. Okay, so our findings for today is that as long as you're using CCI mini mags, everything works really, really good with this pistol. And it's, it's more fun than anything, which I mean, 
yes it does have its own personal uh, use in it and you can actually use this for say hunting or just something to throw over your shoulder you have multiple different uh, attachments here that you can put on it to attach a sling or a light laser whatever else you want to put on it got the picatinny rail up here for your lights or lasers or uh, red dot sights whatever whatever you want to use with it um, but something that we did run in here today with it is that it will not function with anything else besides CCI Mini Mag. Uh, we did use the, uh, right here is the CCI Mini Mags. You're looking at 1,235 feet per second, 40 grain projectile, non hollow point. So it worked perfect with these. What else we used today though was Winchester 333 hollow point. Uh, it seemed to me that it would not feed too well with these due to the hollow point because your uh, feet per second is 1280. Uh, you've got a 36 grain hollow point. So that's four grains less than what we was using with the CCI mini mags. What else we attempted to run through it today was with the Federal uh, 325 uh, auto match box 40 grain. As you can see here, you're looking at approximate uh, velocity of 1200. This is just a straight lead projectile. Um, it seemed to me with the Federal that it was not having enough oomph to uh, throw the actual uh, uh, bolt back on the gun, and that's what kind of fares we was having with it. With the uh, the other ammunition, the Winchester was having fare to uh, go into batteries and uh, such of that. So that being said, as long as you're using good ammunition with this, uh, you're good to go. But don't buy this thinking that you can just throw any type of bolt box 22 long rifle off the shelf into this because from our findings, it will not work. Uh, I'll be sending this to uh, the guys at Standard Manufacturing and letting them see if, uh, or I'll be sending the video to them and asking them, hey, you know, uh, is this normal? You know, well, uh, is it supposed to work with everything or is it just supposed to work with uh, your um, really high velocity 22 long rifle ammunition? And as honest with you all as possible, Standard Manufacturing did send me this to review for you all. And uh, like I said, guys, I loved it whenever it comes to shooting with that CCI Mini Mags because it is fun. I mean, you can sit here and hold it with one hand and shoot. You have a good red dot side on it. You can do it double handed. I mean, and technically too, you could rest it off your cheek right there if you wanted to. I mean, it's a 22 long rifle. It's not going to kick or anything like that. Also has your threaded barrel here on the end. So if you want to attach a suppressor, you could. Just overall real fun gun. And uh, like I said, I like something that can shoot anything in the house, but at the same time, we've got plenty of uh, CCI 22 long rifle mini mags. So I'm fine with that as well, but I just wanted uh, to clarify that for you all for the video. So guys, if you're interested in the uh, standard manufacturing jackhammer, um, I, I think it's a good little pistol as long as you're using the right ammunition to it. Uh, that being said, if you have any questions or comments on the, C on the uh, standard manufacturing jackhammer, leave it in the comment section. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, a very special thank you to standard manufacturing for sending us this to review for the channel. And guys, appreciate y'all viewing as always. Like and subscribe for more gun reviews, and I'll see y'all in the next video.